What's up? Hi. How are you? Thank you for taking time to sit down. 500 a show. 500 a show. Yeah. Oh, I picked up a card. You picked oh, up a yeah, card Yeah, for check me? this out. Yeah. That is so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Perfect. Man, I'm buying this one. Here you go. All right, check this out. It's huh? like my own private right. movie. Friendship is a promise. No matter where, no matter when, no matter what, life brings our way. I want to hear a little the personal note at the bottom. Dear Rachel, I feel like I've known you for years. I'm a big fan of yours. I'm a huge fan of yours, too, of course. Thanks for making me part of uh, your 500th show. Wonderful. It means a lot. Just keep living. Nice. Matthew. Oh, it, it just meant so much to me that you read that. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you. I heard you used to park your RV near here. Didn't I, you I lived right over that fence park. for two years. <laughs> Lot 12. I had an address there. That's terrific. Yeah. More than 10 years later, Austin's still Matthew's favorite town. And while he's got a home in Malibu, he still loves to bring his family back to his home state. You love to travel. Your baby's a good traveler, too. Levi's doing well, man. Five stamps and a passport. We did 7,209 miles in the Airstream. All the way across southern United States and back to the Grand Canyon. We're, we're, we're having a good time. This and is I easy read travel. he was born at 622 and that was your favorite Bible verse? We were talking and thinking about Levi. I hadn't decided on it yet. And then he's born and it was 622 p.m., which is my favorite verse in the book of Matthew. And we looked at each other and we're like, okay, it's, it's Levi now for sure. And isn't that verse about clarity and enlightenment? If thy eye be single, thy whole body be full of light. What would be your second choice if you weren't a successful actor? I think I'd either want to coach a college program, Excellent football, choice. or be a chef. So what are some of your specialties in the kitchen? I really like to get everything in one bowl, all right? So a lot of times we'll make a pasta, we'll make a salad, and you know, we'll make a meat dish, and we end up putting pasta on the bottom, which is the heat, Layering. and then layered on the salad, and then the meat on top. And I love merging like that. And then sitting around coming up with sauces, marinades and dry rubs. And you know how much fun, I mean, the barbecue rubs, you can have so much fun with paprika and brown sugar bases, and you can go any way you want to. Cooking is such, it, it's great to hear you say that, because I think cooking is such a, a creative, really fun, it's a great activity for the family, yeah. you know? He cooks, he acts, and now Matthew's adding another title to his resume, record producer. It all started with a Caribbean singer-songwriter he discovered nine years ago. I want to introduce you to um, a guy who was the inspiration for me to start my record company, Just Keep Living Records. And please have a listen to Mishka. Mishka and Matthew are off to a fast start. Their freshman album, Above the Bones, debuted at number one on the Billboard reggae charts. So did you even know who Matthew McConaughey was when he came up to you and he's like, I love you and I want to produce records with you? There was, there was an article, I think, in People magazine where they asked, you know, if you got married, what music would, would be the, the wedding music. <laughs> and it said Mishka, so I was like, oh, I, was, I was aware of the fact that he'd heard the music, you know. And I'm a cry baby, baby, for your love so true. Let me shake your hand, man. That, that's, that's some good work. 